What's going on everybody? It is Empire Vulcan and today I am playing one of my choices for the Orlando Regional next weekend which is my Raging Bolt Gardevoir deck. So this deck has been very fun to play. I thoroughly enjoy it. It really makes you think about your resources, how to manage them, what to take out, what to sacrifice. It's, it's a really fun deck and I've enjoyed it so far so it's definitely on my list of choices for the regional next week. My other two choices are Blastoise EX and Raging Bolt Palkia. Um, but yeah, let me go through this deck list and then we'll get to some really cool gameplay. So one of the things that you'll notice off rip about this deck is that it is pretty much a standard Gardevoir deck list. That is because Gardevoir is one of the absolute best energy accelerating Pokemon in the game. Being able to just accelerate psychic energy to any of your psychic Pokemon by just dealing 20 damage to it is a huge plus for Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt just needs energy to hit like a truck. So when you're able to just constantly bring out energy, huge plus for Raging Bolt. Um, so also with the Gardevoir lineup, you guys already know the deal. Four Rolts, three Curlia, two Gardevoir. Standard, um, we play one copy of Gallade. Gallade comes in clutch, being able to search for your Sadas, your Bosses, your Arvins, or your Ionos. It is a clutch card to add. To, to add. <sighs> it is a clutch card to add, and it deals 160 damage, which comes in handy when dealing with the Ancient Box uh, deck in dealing with some of the other lower attackers like Lost Box. So being able to deal that damage comes in handy. Um, we play 1-1-1 one, one, one lineup of Screamtail, Fluttermane, and Mimikyu. Screamtail and Fluttermane are both Ancients, so it works well with Sada being able to not only have energy accelerated to it with for Gardevoir, but also being able to use their own attacks whenever they need to. Um, Mimikyu's this is um, there just to stall out some of the EX and V Pokemon in the format. Um, being able to stop those Iron Hand decks dead in their tracks is definitely a necessity. It's, it's one of the worst matchups just because of how fast they are. Uh, so having just a little stall while you get yourself together is a huge bonus. We play one copy of Jirachi, Manaphy, and Greninja. Uh, Lost Box is still a thing. Chien Pao is still a thing. So Manaphy is important, and then Jirachi to stop all those damage counters from uh, Sableye. The rest of the deck is really standard. Um, just a lot of ways to get Pokemon from the deck onto your bench. We have three Nest Balls, three Buddy Poffins, and three Ultra Balls. We really want to get things moving as much as possible because Gardevoir has slowed down so much since losing uh, cards in rotation. We play two Earthen Vessel because we want to get our basic psychic energy into the discard as fast as possible. So uh, accelerating the psychic to your hand and dumping them to the discard for with Curly of the draw two is a huge bonus. Psychic in hand is not useful at all. Uh, everything is based off of accelerating from the discard. So you want to put them in there. Um, we play a two, two lineup of the fighting and electric energy. I wish I could play more, but the deck is really tight. Um, Raging Bolt is not the main focus of this deck, so we don't want to play too much of the, of the uh, fighting and electric energy. Uh, just enough for it to do its thing, but not too much to where it clogs the deck up. So you are in a constant battle of resource management, being able to make sure that you have enough energy in your discard to use your Sada and also have an energy in hand just in case you need to emergency attach for an attack. So you're always kind of in research management mode. Um, outside of that, our A spec for the deck is our Hero's Cape. I do not own a copy of Prime Catcher and I'm not spending 30 bucks on a card. So Hero's Cape is what I pulled. So Hero's Cape is what we're going to play. It's either between Hero's Cape or um, Maximum Belt. I think it's just going to be Hero's Cape. Just adding that extra 100 HP can be beneficial. A 340 Raging Bolt and a 410 Gardevoir sounds good. And then, you know, being able to beef up the uh, Screamtail so it can do more damage with its uh, ability or with its attack. That's a huge bonus too. Outside of that, everything else is, is standard for Pokemon play. But yeah, this deck has been a lot of fun, so let's get to some gameplay so you can see how it works. Alright, 
let's get this party started. Um, for testing purposes, we always go first. Not a bad start. So my primary mission, as far as I run the deck, I want to get all my psychic energy in the discard as soon as possible. It is not useful for uh, Raging Bolt, and I can get it from the uh, discard with Gardevoir. So we want to get rid of all of our psychic. Let's see. We got our two bolts for Rolts, the Curlia, perfect. We got our two Gardevoirs, perfect. Two Sadas, perfect. Capes in there, which is great, and Bravery. Do we have Scream Tail? We do. So we get, we are we are in a great spot. All right. So let me get these two. Hopefully we get a Buddy Poffin. That would be the perfect turn one. No, but we did get a Curlia. Cool. So it looks like we are playing maybe a Chi and Pal. So we definitely want to. Yep. We definitely want to get Manaphy down. Um, actually, I did not check and see if I had Manaphy. So let me let me check that next turn with the Arvin. Because uh, Radiant Greninja is a threat. Very big threat. So this matchup is kind of annoying. Um, the real biggest, at least in, in my testing, the biggest weakness of this deck is just how slow the setup is. Um... If any sort of disruption happens, they take out Rolts, they take out Curlia. Um, you, you're, you're in for a, a rough time. I'll go ahead and play Bolts. Let me go ahead and get rid of the other Psychic. Okay, let's get Curlia down. I will Curlia the other Psychic. Got Sada, which is cool. That's Arvin. Ness, do we have Manaphy in the deck? We do. Actually, I'm a buddy instead. Um, I think I want to sacrifice Greninja. We have four in the discard, so we're in a we're in a good spot to to get Screamtail up and running. And have enough to do 280 with Raging Bolt with just Psychic. So, um, I don't mind sacrificing. Yeah, I get these two. I don't mind sacrificing Greninja. So, this Buddy Puff and this get Manaphy and Oroltz. We'll go ahead... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put a electric energy here to to do this. So one of the things I try to do is I always try to keep one energy that works with Raging Bolt in hand, because I don't want to rely on Sada by itself to to power up Raging Bolt. I only play two of each of the energy requirements for Raging Bolt. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and evolve. We only evolve one. I have a Gardevoir in hand, so I really don't need to force that. So I'm just going to evolve the Curlia. Uh, I guess it don't matter, huh? I guess it don't matter, yeah. Okay, so... This deck, you do have to be kind of strategic, have a lot of resource management skill uh, only playing one super rod so you have to know what to rod back in um, it's one of those decks you just have to play a bunch and kind of get a feel for it but it's definitely a good deck when it works and that's the big thing I hate playing decks where there's a lot of setup having to get the Rolts the Curlias the, the Gardevoir is having to play copies of rare candy the arvins for the tm evolutions having to play all these different cards just to get your main combo started sucks so 
this guy's in a great spot. He's going to get down to Frigibax into the Bax Caliber. He has a Pidgeot, which is going to be my main. Um, if he takes out Greninja, I am next turn most definitely going into Raging Bolt. Going to try to Arvin for something. Actually, no, I need Sasada. That's the reason why I don't like having this energy here. So he's going to be able to take out my Greninja, which is okay. Like I said, we have enough energy in the discard to do what we need to do with Screamtail. I'm actually thinking I might go into Screamtail on purpose next turn to take out the Bax Caliber. I think that might be the move. So we have four, let me see, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll Arvin for the nest ball. Oh, he didn't take it out. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I still think I want to do that play, and we have a retreat with Greninja already. Let's get the TM evolution out of here. It's not necessary anymore. Let's go into the Scream Tail. Um, I'll go ahead and get some draw going with Curlia. We have an energy for Bolt. So I always like to have at least an energy for Bolt ready. But, uh, so Sada next turn is going to be great. Also, Screamtail is also ancient, just in case it's still on board, which I doubt. We'll go ahead and power up Screamtail, and we're going to take out the backs. Now, my biggest concern is most definitely the Pidgeot because he can search for whatever he needs, but he can't energy accelerate next turn. So that is important. I could put the Hero's Cape here, but I think that's a waste. So let's go ahead and put in the Scream Tail. Is there anything else I want to do this turn? I want to keep the Curlia for draw, so I don't want to evolve. I don't need to get any other pokes or so ultra ball hero's cape i can kind of wait on that because <clears throat> i don't see him accelerating energy enough to do anything crazy so we'll go ahead and take out the backs and now he's in a bad position beautiful 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 <clears throat> So I don't see him doing anything next turn to even take out the Screamtail. So I might be able um, if I get another energy I might be able to capsule onto Screamtail get enough to try to take out oh no I can't never mind too much energy but it's fine it's fine we're going to take out the Bidoof. If he doesn't evolve it into Babero, which he should because he has a Pidgeot, we're going to take out the Bidoof. I'm not too worried about Chi and Pao. Ooh. Okay. So... It's actually kind of smart. Hopefully I get a energy next turn. I can just retreat out of Manaphy. But there's really not much I can do uh, to get Manaphy out the active. I'll probably curly away one of the Ultra Balls. But yeah, I like, I, I like this deck because it is kind of... It's not very straightforward. It, it's kind of challenging to manage things at once. I, I love decks where I have to use my brain to think. Um, I am planning on going to the Orlando Regional next week. So if I do go, I'm still in a battle between Blastoise EX, Raging Bolt Palkia, Raging Bolt Garchomp EX, and Raging Bolt Gardevoir. So I have to make up my mind at some point. 
within the next couple days. But I've been testing a lot with this deck, and I actually have it built somewhere in this room. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to see what I could do in my very first regional. Okay, so I need a switch or an energy. Did I use both? So I'll use one earthen vessel. I don't need the Sada anything, so I'm not too concerned with that. All right, so let's Arvin. Vessel is in the deck. It is not in the deck. Okay, that kind of sucks. No, but switch is there. What, what am I doing? Switch is in the deck. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh wait. Okay, so switch is good. We're in a good spot. Um, so let's go ahead and switch. Uh, Scream Tail, we're gonna take out the Babero. I'm gonna give this to Bolt. Is there anything else I need to do? No other energy that I can play with, so there's no point in bravery charming this. Okay. So I'm gonna take out the, the barrel. No draw power for you outside of Greninja. So, he's going to take out a poke with Chi and Pao, which is fine. Um, so, he is down also three. Is it three? Yeah, three rare candies. So, Screamtail, at some point I am going to rob back the Screamtail because it is a very powerful attacker. Um, taking out the Bax Caliber is huge. Like, I'm not too concerned about the Chien Pals. Like, I can deal with that later. And to be honest, I might, just might... Super Rod for one, just the Scream Tail. Just because of how essential it is to take out this Bax Caliber. Switch card. What's that last card? Why is he ramping up so much with the energy? Okay, not too concerned about Greninja. So I might just do that, to be honest. I might just super ride the Screamtail and take out the backs. I might do that. It's really risky, but that might be an essential play. Ugh. Like, there's nothing else that I'm going to super ride in, and that is only have only play one rod. Okay, I think I'll do that. I think that I think that's an essential play that we need to do. I'm going to get rid of Jirachi just to draw some more. Ooh, okay. Let's go and put some more energy there. There's my other Raging Bolt, which is great. All right, so we are going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and bring the Screamtail back. I only play one. I, I actually was contemplating playing two Screamtail because of just how important it is. Like, I'm not concerned about the Greninja. At least not right now. 
What am I doing? Why did I put it on card for? I'm so stupid. I'm over here talking to y'all, man, and made a misplay. But it's fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Okay. We'll go ahead and take out the Bax Caliber again. He's going to have to use his very last rare candy for the for that last Bax Caliber. So... Okay. So I am actually going to do this Ultra Ball. This, I'll keep that actually, just in case. Rare Candy Rolls. Um, we'll do Lost Vacuum and Bravery for Gallade. Good laid down. I'm gonna get laid for boss. Power pads in the deck? It is. Perfect. I'm gonna boss in the Friggy backs here. And then we're going to Scream Tail the other backs caliber. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. When the deck works, it is very good. When it does what it's supposed to do, it is amazing. But when setup is disrupted or things are just way too fast for you, it sucks. Worst matchup by far by far is that crazy future box deck that absolutely runs iron hands and everything else and goes absolutely nuts it is not fun hate it with a hundred percent of my guts nice you had to waste a lot of resources to get rid of get rid of these pokes very nice He's used three energy retrievals. He has used four rare candies, so he's out of rare candies. He has a good setup for his Pokemon, though. So we're not out the weeds just yet, but we are still in a very good spot. So he'll be able to one-shot um, this guy. But we're going to one-shot his Chi and Pao. If I can draw into a Pow Pad, Buddy Catcher, the... I want to take out the Pidgeot as, as soon as possible. I want to get my other Bolt down too. I'm going to give it Hero Escape. Um, I don't know. Give it both. Okay. So now we're going to take out the. Okay, so we want to keep this in hand. Always keep an energy for bolt in hand. We're going to Sada. Go ahead and attach one here, and I'll attach one here. Draw three, beautiful. Um, I'm actually gonna give, it's gonna need six to take it out. So I'm gonna give it that. I'm gonna give him this. We only need four energy. So we're gonna do this, this, one, two, three, 
that. I want to keep the energy on Gardevoir. Uh, it's nothing else I can do with my hand. So let's go ahead and take this out. One, two, three, and four. Hmm. So what if he does something to switch in the other Raging Bolt and take it out? Then I'll have too many Lightning, but I guess it wouldn't matter too much. I just want to be sure I have at least an energy in the discard that works with Bolt. So I'll take out the fighting energy just so we have something for the next one. Nice. So we should be in a position to win. I don't see how my opponent can win. Even with an Iono, I still have Gallade to get the Sada. Uh, yeah, I think we're in a good spot. But see, it's a lot of it's a lot of thinking that goes into this. It's it's, uh, it's <laughs> like I'm really enjoying playing this. I think I will end up uh, playing this deck in Orlando just because of how fun it is, how much thinking you have to do, how strong it can be, how well you have to manage your resources, manage your damage counters. Like, to me, this is what card games are all about. So he has five cards left. Put my phone on vibrate. So I think we're in a great spot. I think we are in a great spot. Thumbs up, my guy. GG's. GG's. That was fun. That was fun. So yeah, uh, this deck is this deck when it when it sets up right, you can do a lot with it. So let's go on to the next game. All right, let's get this party started. All right, they'll go first. <laughs> Both of us have the mulligan. Nice. Oh, we're playing the Tinker Ton. This deck is actually really fun. The Tinker Ton deck with the Dadoon Sparse, it really changed up the dynamic of a uh, Tinker Ton. I thought about playing Hand Trimmer in this deck just because so many decks are uh, having excess cards in their hand like Lost Box or Tinker Ton, even Goldingo. Um, so it's a thought, but this deck is real tight. So all right, so Rolts got two Curlias in the deck, got both our Raging Bolts. We got both our Gardevoirs, got our Screamtail, both Sadas are there. Both our TM Evolutions, we are down. Nope, we got all our Energies. All our Arvins. So yeah, we're in a good spot. Beautiful. Um. Ooh, I don't want to get rid of Super Rod. Yeah. Get rid of Iono and Gardevoir. I really don't want to get rid of the energy. So I'm going to get the Greninja for extra draw. Do I want to Arvin or do I want to Iono? Arvin. Vessel, TM. Ooh, Vessel. Gardevoir. Boom, boom. We will super rod both of those back and the electric. Actually, no. Yeah, we'll super rod all it back. And then 
this and this and we will evolve our rolls. Very nice. Pretty good sequencing. Like I said, when we we can when we can do this consistently, things are looking pretty good, right? Now we have draw power with both of our Curlias and Greninja. We're able to get into a Gardevoir whenever we draw into that. What a funny deck this is. A lot of draw power. They do play Manaphy though, so... Screamtail is not going to be effective as of right now. Playing the Arezu for three evolutions. They're going to do all this just to get Iono next turn. So you got smaller Tinker Ton. Okay. So let's draw. Okay, we got our bolts. I really don't want to play bolt yet. Uh, I don't want to play bolt yet because I don't want him to do something crazy. So I'm actually going to put in... What should I do? Letter main is prized. All right, we'll put the Mimikyu in. Let's. I don't know. Okay. Going to get rid of energy always. That's nice. We will, I think Jirachi is useless. We'll go ahead and draw there. Okay, cool. I don't think Manaphy is necessary or a Buddy Poffin. So let's get our Gardevoir. I'm gonna Mimikyu to get rid of the Dunsparce, or Dunsparce, I mean. Um, I'm gonna give it the electric energy that I'm going to do this. And we'll switch. Eh, nah, we'll we'll retreat. Let's put the energy in there. And yeah. Okay. I was hoping to get the Flutter main <clears throat> as a low attacker. Mimikyu is good against the threat of Tinker Ton. Um, unfortunately, though, I think they play a good number of counter catchers and bosses. So my bench is not safe. I do need to get the Gallade so I can start getting some of my supporters out. 
I want to try to get the boss so I can take out the Manaphy. So I can start scream tailing some of this back line. Okay, he's gonna waste the Neo. That's fine. Actually, I'm gonna put Rolts in. This power pad, that's huge. Alright, so let's power pad both the Ionos, because it is a necessity to get those hands down. Um, so, what do I wanna do? I wanna take out this Tinker Ton. Hmm. I think one of each energy in the discard would be okay. There's Iono. So that kind of changes the game plan a little bit. But I do want to take out that Tinker Ton. Uh, do I want to get Gallade? Go into. Get the Gallade? Do I want to rare candy Gallade? Cause I could rare candy to Gallade and take out this Tinker Ton, but then I'll lose. Um, ugh, what should I do? What should I do? Twenty forty, twenty forty six. I'm only doing 120 damage here anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to give up the Gallade. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm gonna just do this. I'm just gonna do this just to add, just so I can get out of this screen. Um, I think I'll add this here. Let's go ahead and Iono. Let's just get all those cards out. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Um, there's Gallade. That's important. Don't need it right now. So, we have one of each energy in the discard, so I don't want to put the energy out there. This is actually kind of rough. <laughs> See, you try to think about this stuff. All right, we're just gonna. Could have did it a little differently. All right, so we're gonna have to give up the Carlia. I'm actually gonna break my rule and. I guess I'm. I need this. I need to keep the bolt. I did not need to keep the bolt. Damn. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the boss before I Do I need the boss or the Iono? Or the Sada? Hmm. It's just that fell on me. Oh. Um... So what's the play here? Iono disrupts his hand, which is important. Sada is necessary for the play and boss if you need to take out the big guy. All right, well, Sada. I'm going to play one bolt. I'm going to give it a bravery. And we'll do 160. We will give one energy to Rolts, which is what I'm going to switch into when he Galate dies. 
This hero's cape, that's important. Oh, it's, a good, it's a, so much thinking, and I—I I mean, I love it, but it's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on, brain, think of the right play. I thought about playing one copy of Energy Switch just in case I had to like Sada and put two different energies on on a uh, Screamtail, and then I can Energy Switch to Bolt. That—that's still something that I'm thinking about doing. Miriam. It's a lot of draw in this deck. It's Jirachi. Oh, he doesn't have a rare candy. Oh, wow. Three Pokemon. <laughs> so now I'm wondering do I just take out the Tinker Tough and just, just take it out with Screamtail well I can't really take it out with Screamtail um, so let's do this I'm going to get the boss unfortunate hmm what is the right play here 20 damage so I can only do 20 40 it only be 80 all right let me try something I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something weird but I need the boss. Grr. Uh, everything I have needs. Okay, twenty forty. Grr, that sucks. Uh, all right, so we can take out the Dune Sparse. Yeah, we'll take out the Dune Sparse. And I put it on the wrong poke. Oh, man, I'm over here messing up. Thinking too much. All right, let's do this. We'll give it this and this. There's a switch. Unfortunately, a little too late because there's nothing I can really do. Oh, I messed that all the way up. Luckily, I have another Sada. So I can put that in there. Okay, so use Morty's Conviction. So let's see how this works, even though I uh, messed up, made a misplay. Let's see if we can recover from a misplay. That's important. The deck needs to be able to recover. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was I was trying to see if I get a, if I can misplay and still win. We also have the Iono in hand, which is going to be madly important. Okay. I don't care if he takes out Bolt. Have another bolt. Okay. 
Okay, that's important. I think we have enough to take out big guy. That's huge. Play another bolt down. I'm going to give this one the cape. I shall wait. Okay, so now we're going to Sada. We're going to give this one this. This one this. We'll draw three. Don't need any of those. So one, two, three, four, five. Put one more energy here. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll put the fighting energy so that we can I don't know if we can sada again but we do have another fighting in the deck I believe let me check the deck and make sure yes we do have another fighting in the deck that's important and we have an earthen vessel beautiful okay so now we will take this out one two three four five yeah we'll keep it on the other one okay beautiful we have a boss in hand if need be Okay, so now all focus is on big guy. I think we'll be able to draw our way into what we need. Still have my rare candy as well. Ooh, okay. That was a good play. That was a really good play. So there's a couple things that have to go right for us now. We need the rare candy so we can get into our Gardevoir. We need the Fighting energy. So we can attach the bolt. But most important, we need that rare candy. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we're going to go in the bolt. Alright, let's see what we can do. There's fighting energy. Alright, starting off on a good foot. Do I need... Actually, so let me go ahead and test the fighting energy here. I'm just going to draw just for the sake of it. I'm going to attach this here just because... Let me search my deck, make sure... Rare candy in here. Rare candy is in here. Alright. So Arvin for the rare candy. We should have enough. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Woo! That, that got kind of weird. Tinker Ten is definitely a good deck. 420, we're going to max it out. 420 for the dub. GG's. Yeah, I think a little bit with this deck. Woof! Beautiful. Beautiful. Woo. Like I said, this deck can compete, so I am looking forward to, to running this. Man. 
All right, let's do one more. Okay, let's get this party started. Um, let's go second now. We've been doing a lot of practice and going first. Let's uh start doing games going second. Having that buddy Poffin is great. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Got the Arvin for the buddy Poffin. Got a TM Evolution and we got energy. Perfect start. So hopefully this time uh, we have our energies in the deck. It is, a, it is a very big possibility that we prize both of the fighting or both of the electric. So that hurts. That's an automatic scoop in my opinion. I mean, we can beat things down with Gardevoir and Gallade, but that's a scoop phase. All right, so let's Arvin. Let's get Buddy Puffin. We'll get the other TM Evolution. Let's see what we have here. Whoa, what's going on? Why is it lagging? Okay. Three and two, perfect. Two Gardevoir in the deck. One of each of the energies are gone. So that is now the second game in which I was put into a position where the energy is very limited. But you know what? That's how we have to play. So we need to keep these energies in deck as much as possible. And only bring them out when absolutely necessary. For Bolt. So we, may, we might actually be in a little bit of trouble if they play Greninja and evolve Frigibacks. They can take out both Curlius. And then we're going to be in some trouble. So we'll see what they do. Because <laughs> we might be in some trouble. Okay, there's the barrel. Let's see. Does he have the rare candy? Frigid backs. Can he get the Greninja? Chien Pao. We might be in a little bit of trouble. Possibly. Have to check and see if we even have Manaphy in the deck. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we put yes. Nobody has the he has the he has the super ride. He had the super ride and the canceling cologne in hand. Bruh. <laughs> Am I gonna have to quit this game? Because if he takes out both Curlias, I'm scooping. Did he draw into the nuts? Does he have rare candy? Does he have extra energies? Chi and Pal is definitely one of the uh, top decks of this format. Um, something to fear. He definitely... He didn't have to quit. I just had two Curly's and the Rolts on board. 
Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm really tired, so I'm not going to play anymore. But yeah, this, this deck, Raging Bolt Gardevoir, is a very fun deck. Let me actually go to the deck list so you guys can see it. That's nice. So, it is a really fun deck to play. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm thinking about, like, I'm very, very, very much considering bringing this to the Orlando Regional. My very first regional in Pokemon. I'm very excited. Um, so, I don't know if I should put this up to three. But... Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, playing it, and um, I'll do a video later on this week uh, showing what I actually pick, and then, um, yeah, and I'll give you guys the results after. But yeah, that's it for me. That's it. Peace.